So I'm at my aunt and uncle's house and I'll just uh, tell you about the project I got going on here. So 15 years ago they built this house. I'll give you a nice view of it later, but my aunt and uncle picked all these stones off of a mountain and laid them all the way up the chimney. Uh, I was only about seven or eight when I was, uh, it was only about seven or eight when they started building it. But now I put my piece on it there, finish this side, carve their names in the block or in the joints there. That was pretty cool. Thought that turned out really nice. This side. So I can't finish this side. Uh, we gotta get a rock to go across there to act as like a header. So one solid piece to go right there. And then I'll fill in the rest of it and grout that in. So that'll just be another day here. But uh, they've been waiting to do this for 15 years. Where all my rocks were. This rock here is about eight inches short, so that kind of sucks, but my mess. That's what the house looks like. It's really nice, but that chimney right there, all hand-picked off the mountain over there. So that's really sweet. But that's my project here. So, like I said, in a week or two, I'll be back and I'll finish it. And Got this enormous rock, and that's going to be a header above the door. So I put a straight line across it. I'm gonna cut that. <clears throat> I'm gonna make it like a corner. Yesterday I was having difficulties with my camera. I guess uh, you're not supposed to let them get really cold and freeze because they just wouldn't turn on. And I kind of missed that whole video of me cutting this rock yesterday. So I'm pretty much gonna have to walk you through it now since I thawed it out. So this is where the rock was. And uh, I had to saw and chisel and hammer away all of this right i couldn't this, the rock was too big i couldn't get the saw all the way through it and uh so that's some of it this was the majority of the rock i cut out that was it took me about four hours to do all that this rock was so hard so hard i could barely get the saw to go an inch a minute the cool thing was every time i would break them though i'd see little fossils like there is a little fossil or seashells around in here somewhere uh, but there's like little fossils in the breaks, so that was pretty interesting to be uh, breaking the rocks and seeing like shells and stuff like with the fossils. So that was really cool. Um, the only thing that sucked was, you know, being bent over for freaking six hours running the saw cutting and everything. Once I got it to actually look like a corner slightly, I had to take it down to where I'm uh, actually laying the stone and start measuring and making sure that I could even fit it in the wall. Basically what I did, you see how that's a corner, right? I turned a rock, the rock that was original into this piece. So I cut out all of that and all I was left with was a, a 55 inch L that looked like this. So it was an L piece, 55 inches long. And, uh, that's all the extra trim stuff. So I was taking measurements over at the wall. There it is. So I had to take the measurement across there, how thick it was, how wide this was, and then uh, figure out how to cut the bottom of the L right there and right there, which it was 40, 42 inches here from the front and 40 inches in the back. So it was a trapezoid even and uh, had to make sure that I could squeeze up in there. So I was taking measurements from here, going over there, marking them, cutting them, coming back, had to dry fit it twice, two times, had to cut a little bit away from there, cut some extra off of there. Oh my God, it was awful. And then that thing weighs like 80 pounds, trying to pick this up over my head. I was so lucky that I had uh, my, my uncle's uh, friend Joey, he was helping me. So Joey actually was a lifesaver on this. Without Joey, that would not be there. So Joey rigged this up, right? He made me a stand, right? So he took this stand and put it under the door. So it pretty much looked like that. We picked that enormous rock up onto there with mud on the back, right? Put it on there, 
put it on here and then rolled this forward boom <laughs> and we had a jack so here's our jack right and we put the jack underneath that stand and picked it up as far as we could get it before it started you know breaking and whatever sucked it up fast hammered it back and then i let that set there overnight just because it's so heavy I, I wasn't taking a risk then i filled in the extra stone in here as fast as i could and this little gap there grouted it all even and uh that way it would all keep that rock sucked fast that was the hardest thing I've ever done with a stone in my freaking life. And that is one solid piece across there. Like that is, that's crazy. I've never done anything like that. I learned this from my cousin Frankie. Uh, I copied him with uh, his basement entrance and uh, did that with this stone. So, wow, really hard. My back hurts so bad. I could barely wake up this morning. Uh, but you know it was worth it thanks for watching I know it wasn't the best video my cameras were frozen and they wouldn't turn on and I really wish I would have got more videos yesterday but they just wouldn't work I don't know what was wrong with them but so I had to thaw them out but anyway if you got any questions about it I'll try my best to answer them so